Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Ascot stainless steel kettle. And what I want to do today is to show you around the kettle some of the features and benefits that it offers and give you a demonstration of it. Just before I start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. The first thing we need to do is to get the kettle unboxed. Now, I've heard about Ascot for a while and I thought I'd give it a try because from the reviews, mainly on Amazon, I've always been really impressed. So, uh, first of all, we've got the lid. That's the lid of the kettle. And you do actually get a spare little handle. Uh, quite like that, a little, cheeky little handle. And what you can do is you can actually change it if you want to. So there's just a, a screw in there, just undo the screw, and then you can put that one in if you choose to. So it's the same color. Uh, well, it's slightly different. So you've got like a, a silver finish around the top there. But on the spare one, that's just all the blue. So talking about the colors, I've actually gone for, I want to go for a slightly different color. Um, I'm not quite into standard black, white, stainless steel kind of kettles. Uh, I always prefer something a little bit different. So let's just get the, get the base out and then I'll show you the kettle itself. There we are, there's the, the base. Now the colour I've actually decided to go for is this, which is called Classic Blue. And when I saw the picture of it, I thought that looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, it will match quite nicely in, in the kitchen. Now as far as the colour options available, there are actually a huge range to choose from. I'll just read some of these out. Uh, so first of all you've got beige, black, blue, classic blue, which is this colour, emerald green, green, which is like a light green, uh, matte silver, pink, red, white and yellow. So a really good choice of colours, uh, but I just decided to go for this, the classic blue. Um, I just think it's something a little bit different. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not really into the standard uh, white, black, stainless steel kind of colours. Uh, I quite like uh, more of a, an accent colour within the kitchen. Uh, first of all, I, honestly, this is the first time I've seen the kettle. Uh, I'm really impressed with the, the nice chunky handle. Uh, it does look very well built. Uh, it's full stainless steel. So it's made of 304 stainless steel, which is very strong. It's like a food grade stainless steel. Uh, when it comes to the inside of the kettle, I hope you can see inside there, it has a concealed element. And the main advantage of a concealed element is that the amount of water that you need within the kettle to boil is quite minimal. Uh, you can find with some, I suppose mainly some of the cheaper kettles where you've still got the element showing, you need quite a bit of water in there to, as a minimum to boil. Uh, but the advantage with the concealed element is that you don't need a lot of water in there. It is always, uh, I suppose, recommended to only boil the amount of water that's needed. Uh, even I find with, with some colleagues at work, for some reason they insist on going and filling the kettle when they know they're only going to make one or two cups, which is quite inefficient. doesn't matter what kettle you've got. Uh, but that's one thing I do like about this because it's a concealed element. Uh, the other advantage of a concealed element when it comes to things like cleaning or things like lime scale buildup, uh, that can be reduced by the concealed element inside. The actual filter uh, is it's all it's like a solid filter. Just see if I can show you that. So that's just within the spout there. So if you do get things like bits from the tap, which you can do on the odd occasion, then all you'll find is it gets caught within the inside of the kettle. Uh, that's always a better way than having the, the bits arrive into your tea or coffee. Uh, when it comes to, so I'll just pop the, pop the lid on there. Oh, I love that. Now, I know it's, it just pops on, but I love the, the solid feel of it. That sounds absolutely fantastic. I love that. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, when it comes to the base itself, just take the, take the wrapper off. There we go. So you've actually got a 70 centimeter lead. So that's oh, 70 centimeters. Uh, so it's quite a good length on there. But the main advantage of this base is that you can shorten it if you want to. Now, personally, I always say it's always better to have this lead as short as possible because what you'll find is a lot safer to have it shorter, especially if you've got young children in the house. 
So if you've got little ones that are going to come along and put the hands on the work surface and pull the kettle off. Uh, it's not just the Ascot kettle, it could be any kettle. Uh, it's something I'll try and mention in a lot of my videos, especially when I'm talking about kettles. Uh, or so is any any kitchen device. Try and sh keep the mains lead as short as possible. And I'm really glad that Ascot have thought about this, that you can keep that nice and short. Just wrap it around. And if you so desire, you could go around once more, but then that will make it really short. So I suppose for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it wrapped uh, once there. You've got a slot in the side, and then that will be quite short so that I can just go and plug it in. As far as the finish on here, it is a shiny plastic finish, uh, but it really complements the kettle when it's sat on top. As far as the capacity on this, it's 1.6 litres. So it is, uh, to be fair, it's quite a standard uh, capacity on here. But so something not to mention, you've actually got the auto shut off and boil dry protection. And basically what that means is if the kettle detected that there wasn't any water in it, or a minimal amount of water, not really enough to boil, then it will actually shut itself off. Uh, now that's something not all kettles have got, uh, and that's really good. I'm really pleased that Ascot have put it on this kettle. Uh, that can save the kettle itself, uh, because if you boil dry a kettle, so if you were to put a kettle on with no water in it, that can sometimes just kill it. It's around 11 o'clock in the morning, and I must say, I could really do with a cup of coffee. Just before I do, I want your help, because we have an age-old debate at work as to when you fill the kettle, should you fill it through the spout or should you fill it through here when you take the lid off? Now, my thinking is that you should take the lid off, fill the water through here, and then put the lid on and then go and put the kettle on. Quite a few of my colleagues at work will fill it through the spout. Now, my reasoning is that if you fill it through here, any bits that you've had from the tap or anything that's fallen uh, I suppose into the kettle will stay within the kettle. That's where the filters work in. Now, even in the instructions, it does say to fill it through the spout. And I'm not quite sure. I don't know what the right answer is. That's why I want your help. I want you to tell me what you would do. So would you fill it through the top here or would you fill it through the spout? Uh, again, my thinking is if you fill it through the top, and that's really what I want you to ideally say, fill it through the top here, any bits will stay inside and the filter then does its job in keeping all the bits in so it doesn't go into your cup of tea or coffee. Anyway, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and put some water in the kettle. I'm going to boil it to make myself a nice cup of coffee. So I've just popped the kettle on. I've not put too much water in there. Clearly I'm only going to need a, a smallish amount to, uh, to make myself a cup of coffee. And I've got Tom here as well at the moment. Uh, William's at school today. So if you're following me on YouTube for a while, you'll know that I've got, uh, got the two kids. Fantastic lads, they really are brilliant. Anyway, so I've got enough in there to make myself a cup of coffee, and I suppose I better make Tom a cup of tea as well. Uh, but while, while that's boiling, I'll just talk about the packaging, because I do quite like talking about the packaging. Uh, you will find that the, uh, a lot of this is recyclable, so when it comes to when you finish with a box, um, although you've got some polythene in here, the rest of the packaging, the box itself, and this is all recyclable. I like the brown cardboard, that's all fully recyclable. Um, I must say, this is actually really quiet. Uh, I can quite easily hear myself talk, I'm not having to raise my voice while this is boiling in the, in the, pro well, in the process of boiling. Um, you will find, being stainless steel, that the, it will get hot, uh, clearly, with the, the nature of the kettle. Uh, but even then, it's not too bad. I shouldn't really put my hand on the side, but it's always tempting. Uh, but even in that short time I've been talking, then well, I can hear it's just starting to reduce now. Uh, you have got a little LED indicator light on the on and off switch. So that's, uh, well, we're almost there. There we go. That's just shut off. I can see that I'm not going to put my hand over that. I can see I've got the the, uh, the steam coming out of the spout there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and get a cup with some coffee. I'm going to make myself a nice cuppa. Ah, much better. Love a cheeky cup of coffee. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Ascot stainless steel kettle. I must say, I'm really impressed with it. 
But if you're as impressed as I am, and if you're thinking about buying one, I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. And from the link, then you can go and select the color that you want. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this quick video on the Ascot stainless steel kettle. All I'd normally say is please give me a thumbs up on a YouTube video, click subscribe, leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad about the video. If you've arrived here at the video to have a look at something and I've not covered it, or if you've got any questions on the kettle, then I'll be honest, this is going to be used in my kitchen quite a lot now. Um, if you've got any questions, pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these, if you've got one of the Ascot stainless steel kettles, let me know what you think about it because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Anyway, thanks for watching.